Well, kinda. It's actually update six. <sighs> Alright, we should be live now. Live as of ten seconds ago. Alright. About the moon. What's that from? What? I wanna sing uh, about the moon and the stars and the spring. I gotta Google it. Well, don't play it. Yeah, don't play it. Oh yeah, that, that's. I don't want the. I don't want the. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I guess I left it downstairs. Bummer. Oh, do we have a uh, do we have a PowerPoint for today? No. We oh have a, my we god. We have a slide. We don't have a, a anybody. Nobody's watching yet, so we can. Yeah, we let me to... get it. Let me get it. Uh... <laughs> You're on a theme team. You're. On... <laughs> oh, I like this one. I like this. More options. Shared or group. There we go. Now we're getting Look, some people. Uh, it may just be you guys uh, watching it, but no, I mean I'm. I there's four. I mean, I'm not watching four it. now, so I'm. Well, I'm, I've got to be watching it to share it. So yeah, I want to sing a sing a. I want to sing about the moon and the stars and the spring. What is this from? Uh, that's from like Looney Tunes, isn't it? No. Grab this on. Oh, it's an old cartoon. Yeah. Not Looney Tunes. Oh, close enough. It's an owl. Wow. Oh, is it like I'm just a bill? No. Sitting on Capitol Hill. <laughs> Tyler, are you? Uh, Tyler, do you still have diamond hands today? I do. Kind of. Nice. I. Well, so like yeah. I did sell. I what sold. Is... When it was up at like three twenty, and I made I mean, a little bit of money. Okay, well you bought in at ninety. Oh, oh it, it's a whole thing. So I bought in at like eighty ish in my right. HSA account, but I bought two, um, just in my brokerage account. With your HSA like, account? Yeah, I just had, I had a thousand dollars cash to there. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I heard about do we this. Need to end, do we need to end the stream? Because I don't think that's legal. <laughs> No, yeah, it is. It, yeah, HSA is for your health. It's a health savings account, right? Yeah, but you can you can have securities in it. I don't think you can. I. But you work I, for that kind of company. I work in a brokerage. So, you can. So, uh, so maybe they do things differently. Pre- let's just pretend that you can. Yeah. So anyway, in my normal brokerage account, I bought in at like two ten, sold it at like three twenty. So I made and I bought two shares. So I made like two hundred some odd bucks. Okay. And then I bought back in at ninety. I think yesterday. So did you use all of your profits and buy back in? I just bought two more shares. And then I have, I think, eight shares in my HSA. So ten total. So you got to hope that everybody has diamond. All the apes stand together and we have diamond hands to (laughs) send it to the moon after the short squeeze is over, right? Uh, That is the hope. That is the hope. Well, I'm ready for GameStop to get to 1,000. Everybody back out and work on Nokia. So. What? I already, I already made some money, so like you know, I'm I'm, I'm up current. I am currently up. Welcome right. everybody to our stock talk. Right. Well, how many we got? We got twelve now, so let's get going. So yeah. Welcome to daily. Click Stock, where we talk. Well, we got to get we got to give our daily uh, GME <laughs> update, and then we'll yeah. talk about the rules update. Mhm. 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 Hey, Mark. Hey, Miguel. Hey, Brian. All right. So, theme teams. Theme teams. Uh, they got a... limited. Uh, theme team prop changed. Okay, thanks everybody. <laughs> Good yeah, All right, let me pull it. Let me pull it up. <laughs> I've got the press uh, room basically like <laughs> my homepage now because I've refreshed it so many times. <laughs> Uh, we could talk real quick before we get into the rules update. We could we can mention the other article today because it was very uh, boring and straightforward. Uh, that's they explained the captain sidekicks and allies thing. It's it's I almost want to think it's not really I don't it's a mechanic, but do we really call it a mechanic? It's just literally these people can help these people, and certain things happen when these people happen. Like well, it's like it's like a less wordy version of a trait yeah i'm looking at it right it's just it's like it's like saying this guy can use perplex on this guy 
if they share a keyword. Yeah. So it's like it's like saying they all share a keyword. I'm not trying to con conflate the issue, but you know, captains can help sidekicks and allies help both, right? I think the the key takeaway I have it from it is it's not that complicated, don't worry about it. It just literally explains why we have certain figures with very short dials and certain figures with strangely very long dials. <laughs> yeah, they're so long. <laughs> Spider-Man is eight clicks long for 60 points. I think all of them are, actually. Uh, like, no, all, all awesome captain, Andy is all the, seven. All the, all the captains, you mean? Yeah, all the, the captains car. are long dials. And that, that was, you know, when Scott Porter was showing his videos and we were seeing some previews. We're like, holy crap, that's a really long dial, like, for... 50 points or 60 points so yeah. this that that basically just explains it now like they're there Wait, so I, I didn't i didn't admittedly i didn't read it so why are captain's dials so long they've got longer dials and better abilities than sidekicks but what makes them captains is their traits that grant them powers and abilities so i guess they just wanted it to make it feel like they're also captains because they have much longer dials than the sidekicks <coughs> I like it as a concept. Like, if you have, like, a team trained by Spider-Man, Spider-Man's the captain, it sort of makes sense that he would, you know, you, they'd have super senses because he'd train them to do that or whatever. I like it. I think it's yeah, cool. it's it's very simple. It's kind of a mechanic. <laughs> it's like a basic mechanic, I guess. So did did they mention if it'll be cross... Uh, cross they did not. Okay. Set. I was thinking cross, not necessarily cross set. It, it is cross like, set. It is cross set. Oh, is it? Previously, like, we oh, mentioned oh, oh. we'll be utilizing more cross set mechanics. Now we're going to dive into oh. one that will be oh, premiering cool. into Fantastic Four Future Foundation. Now, my I guess my question would be no more specifically would be cross um, shit Marvel versus DC, whatever you call that, cross publisher or whatever. Uh, so is there, can, like, cross can, license like, what, and stuff cross license there we go like so can wonder woman captain leech probably right. if, yeah. if, if it's would... in wonder woman then there's no reason it wouldn't it just says okay. it just says side, sidekick okay. yeah there, there's... we haven't we haven't got a wonder woman preview of a captain or a sidekick if that exists in there yeah i mean we there's nothing that actually makes them like there's no actual mechanic right like there's nothing they have to write in the rule book because everything's on the card well, there's never like. anything, but it was the same for, like, Secret Identities right. or for, you know, anything, like, they've added, like, that. Right, so that's why I think it could go cross-set, because <laughs> it's not like, hey, you can only stick to these or whatever. I mean, I, the the only main difference is allies, and that's just an added way of having a sideline active thing. Um, like, they show Mad Thinker, which we've seen. Friendly captains and sidekicks modify attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with the robot keyword so they're that's really the only big difference to me that changes is now we have more sideline active via allies because that's just a, a mechanic so that's don't read too much into it it's cool it's not as cool as secret identity but it's still cool so i like it way more than secret identity i mean it to uh, me to me though it just doesn't seem that different than saying fantastic four Friendly fanta figures with Fantastic Four keyword gain super senses. Like it just, I get it. I get it. It's a little bit more uh, exclusive, but right, and that probably helps lower its cost. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think the only thing I like, a, I mean, I, 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 the only reason I like Secret Identity a tad more is like, can you imagine if uh, Leech and Valeria here uh, were autonomous? Who knows? There might yeah, be another be good. There might be a captain or ally that makes that happen. Ooh, yeah, well, that'd be awesome sauce. Yep. Anyway, that's it for the design inside. Didn't want to talk too much about that. It's just something they're sending out real quick because, oh, yeah, you need to know what it is and because we keep seeing all these previews. Uh, the big and the set care. supposedly reads it's on the 17th, so like two weeks from today? Yep. We'll all right, so works. I guess... Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's here. I guess I'm ready for it. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, the WizKids uh, YouTube pages, uh, like all the videos say the 17th. Um, and then the solicits also say the 17th. Um, so <coughs> the big question is, is a week from today, 
is Alliance still saying the 17th? Mm -hmm. That's the big question. So as of right now, it sounds like it's still it's still on. It's still game. Um, it's still something that's coming on the 17th. But you know, for the long, I guess I'm kind of uh, surprised because I've been I've been hearing March, March. It's coming in March so often that it didn't occur to me. Nah, those people are wrong. So. I think people read into the WizKids website because their store says March, but we've talked about that. So let's talk about some themed teams. They didn't really come up with a catchy title this time. Um, <coughs> they did not. No, they kind of they kind of were like, ah, all right, we used all our creativity to come up with the Indomitable or not, and less is more. So theme team. So uh, let me read about theme teams real quick. Basically, all you need to know: initiative bonus. The maximum bonus a player may get to their roll for, from the initiative bonus is plus three more than their opponent. Yep. Oh, the math there. If, I, if you have a plus two and I have a plus six, you get no bonus and I get a plus three. Right. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. is what, yes. So if you roll a six... That's a six, and I roll a six. I would win because it's six plus three. That'd be nine. Right. <coughs> I ten four. What do you guys think about this change? Um. Well, we said yesterday that we we obviously thought it should be limited in some way. Um, but they didn't do it exactly like we said. Um. All right. So how about this? Tyler can no longer reliably build ha 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 or what is it? No. Uh, Iceberg Lounge penguins to steal my stupid lights. It is very sad. Uh, plus three is <laughs> still... It's pretty consistent. I I would guess it, it'd give you like 80-ish percent chance to win. No, it's not that much. You gotta get to like a plus five before it's in the 80s. It's I still know, decent. Uh, right. I think it's in the 60s. At least. Well, it has to be higher than 60s because nothing is 50, right? True. It, it swings every average up by three points. It's almost all extra dice roll i i like that they they worded it this way that like they made it to where it's not pointless to build your team above a three because you're still competing to have that plus three advantage against yeah, your opponent for sure. so if i'm building a robot team with 12 figures on it I don't feel bad because maybe there's someone with an eight so i at least make sure i get that plus three um because if they had just hard capped it and said no matter what plus three well that's gonna feel yep. bad right yeah, you're... For sure. so this still encourages building theme teams building bigger ones it's just you lose the guarantee like yeah. you lose the plus eight versus nothing or plus 12 or the ridiculous brute team that dan built a while ago with the the friends of humanity and the the vulture yeah, like... or whatever that was for the 20 friends of humanity yeah so i think this is probably the best way they could have written this because yeah so go ahead uh so i mean just uh, i think the math here right is you know your your tens and 11 your eight nine ten <coughs> and eleven right versus your three through fives right that's that's uh that's part of the armor in the new arms race i think Mm -hmm. Right, is your 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 okay versus the 4 and the 5s? Uh, because then everybody's competing against 0, right? Because I, I know we mentioned it. I wish they would just go ahead and tomorrow release the retirement or not yeah. thing this week. So, like, you're, you're competing then now against 0 for Vulture, right? And how does your team do against Vulture? So oh, everybody's, yeah. <laughs> everybody's competing against zero, but then your three fours and fives are competing against your eight, nine, tens, and elevens. Um, and then, so is it, it, it all comes back to what I've said for a long time. You don't build theme for theme fluff. Everybody's got to make the team for a reason. See, so, I, me per so me yeah. personally, hold on, I'm almost done, Tyler. Oh, uh -huh. so me, me personally, I've always built you know, from anywhere from, say, four to six, maybe a seven, to where I would have a very large guarantee over zero theme teams. And then if I went against another theme team, it was worth a wash. 
So anything, I never got into the nine tens and elevens because that you know, it was actually too fluffy. Um, so I, that just, that's just my personal team building philosophy. Okay. I, so I was a little surprised they limited it that much. Like I said yesterday, I thought it would be plus five. Um, but so I mean, obviously this is a this is a buff to unthemed teams. This is a buff to a vulture. If we're on still on that vulture watch, um, this is the like fourth buff to him or something like that. Um, obviously there was the huge nerf, so it's fine. But um, it's a buff to theme. I, so what it, I'm thinking like large theme teams. I in the past I'm thinking I I don't actually think that this changes builds that much. Um, it. I would say it changes the builds that built around winning maps. That's really the only I, change. The only team I can see it really substantially changing is maybe the Barclay team. Yeah, Bar Bar Barclay. Well, see, Barclay got two hits, right? Because perplex the damage, mm -hmm. like we mentioned earlier this week, and then the <coughs> now the theme team, right? So he can't go to ancient hold. Right, but so I'm I'm thinking like. So, like, the Batman team is the other obvious example, but I don't think that team changes that much. I think everything was on there for a very specific reason, not just to get it to a plus 12 or whatever it was at, right? Because you are you want all of the um, Dr. Fates for all the enhancements and the uh, TKs. Um, and the actions. Yep, and the actions. You you maybe threw some Wonder Twins on there for, um, for some barrier. You had a cheap TK piece. Um I think some were running that that microns or atoms. Um, that was so, Isaac. Running my, Isaac. Yeah, running no, up. you're you're thinking of it wasn't Micron because he's a prime, but you're thinking yeah, of the star, the star girl atom mm -hmm. barrier busting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I I don't utility. think I, I don't see anything on that team that was that would change. Um, but based uh, on this ruling, right now, I, to be fair, <coughs> Isaac was kind of I think in the seven to eights versus the pure all in Batman being ten to twelve or fourteen. No, he was he was a, he was at least a ten. I think he was, was he? A, I think he was a twelve. But it wasn't really? all in the Batman uh -huh. though. That's the point. Gotcha. No, his yeah. team was all into Batman. Well no, he he <laughs> he used the Adams and the Fates and To like, set up Batman. Everything on that so, team was Batman. I guess sorta, yeah. I, what I'm thinking is like Barclay is still very playable. It's just now you build scientists a little bit different. And you just have him as a secondary attacker, and you use some of the other scientist pieces, like Vulture, to um, <laughs> sure. bring in. I'm <laughs> just kidding. With, uh, with the isotope, isotope. yeah. We'll talk about that another right. time. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I just I don't really think it changes um, team building that much, to be honest with you. Um, it 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 does when it comes to maps. I think. Like I think it's now. I'm a non-themed team. I have a reasonable chance of winning map. Not great, but I have a much better chance. So maybe I need to start <laughs> thinking about maps more. Because some people just was like, I never win any map, so I'll just have my one map. But maybe people actually start building maps. So, you know, pay more attention to maps now that they're not as easy to lose, if that makes sense. Right. Yeah, so, so this goes out to, you know, take a map... You know, they get the online pictures of them, right? Start counting out your squares. You know, if you're an unthemed, also unthemed can no longer reliably rely on um, Stark Tower. Yeah, that's or true. Bolt, that or true. Bolt, uh, Bolt or Crimson Sage. Mm -hmm. A lot of them did that. Um, location bonuses are generally riskier, less way. consistent. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the next big change was theme team probability control. So they mentioned it earlier in the article. I didn't talk about it, I guess. They're, they did away with... Um, <coughs> the, there's no more difference between named and generic theme teams. They both yeah. get access to the same benefits. The same initiative bonus, which they did before. Prop control, all of that. But they've changed how theme team probs work before. The easiest way to explain it is it's now kind of subject to the power three. They really like the power three. So you only get three theme team probs as opposed to five. And it's the easiest way to explain it is it's just regular prob, generally. Like, I don't think that changes except for the limits. Like, you only have three. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the only difference. And I think that makes it a lot better. I mean, I, I wish it stayed at five, but I get it. You know, they're sticking to three. That's their magic number. But it makes it so much easier to say theme team probs. Yeah, it's just it's just normal prob. You're just limited it's to just three. Just a prob. Yeah. Or two or one. Way but easier. Theme, theme yeah. team probs were always confusing um, just because it, it was always hard to design around because prob is like the only thing in the game that is like not an action. It's like no kind of action at all. So it's weird to, to make it try to be a costed action is what they were essentially trying to do. By So it was always really confusing and you couldn't do it on yourself. Or, um, and then it, it just confused a lot of people. This simplifies it a lot. And it's also a substantial buff, obviously, because you can do it on yourself and it doesn't take an action. So I think bringing this down to three makes sense to me. Um, it, they yeah, would have to it, it got inherently more <coughs> powerful, right? So now it needed a little bit of a buff. Um, it, I, I think it also picks up the pace of the game a bit because when you are on the defensive and they're attacking you, attacking you, and you're like, okay, I guess I'm just going to token up my team to yeah. keep robbing you, but then I'm kind of hosed for the next turn. It Man, takes away I, that. <laughs> I loved doing that. When, it, when I played Whales and I would just go and quake and just roll like three eights in a row, and they would token their whole team, and I'm like, okay, well, you just you're screwed next turn. So um, it definitely uh, we, we do have a quick question, Miguel. No, it is not costed <laughs> anymore. It is literally just prob, but yep, you're just you get limited. Three props. Yeah, you get three props. That's it. I think you you can use them all in one turn. Like you just obviously keep with different characters, but yeah, yeah. And it's so it's not three. It's up to three right, based on how many yes. characters you have. So the one another note and one here was that. Um, if you have a one-man army, it's now considered a theme team, so you do get one theme team prop, which, um, and, you know, pick pick your pick your time to use it wisely, I guess. Uh, that's, I mean, it's powerful. It, it is, for sure. Um, it's just like, man, that's going to be tough, like, deciding when to use that. I mean, so... obviously, it, it protects against crit misses, which were obviously a very big danger to, um, um, one man army so it could ju you could just save it for that like entirely and that just it busts them a lot because they need to uh, make their X account um i think we i think we got our first spam there alex yeah i'm on it um so <laughs> um, can i can i answer my daily potential jay sansen question of uh how this affects playing uni in uh uh mighty age sure sure so um it makes it even better for two reasons. <laughs> um, now Uni can more reliably pick Stealth or Super Senses because he doesn't ever have to pick Prob because he'll have at least a Prob for that turn, you know, for, for the larger average of times. Um, and then the Doggo, the goodest Doggo, can also pick Enhancement or Empower and then still have Prob. Yeah, that's pretty good. So... So most most every rule change at this point, except for perplex, has uh, given my Bro, green boy is given my green boy a big boost. So um, that's pretty much it for the changes. That now they do mention that they are providing erratas to certain figures, like the ones that relied on theme teams for certain things. <coughs> um, they mention uh, the figure nobody plays, Yelena Belova, zero ten from Black Widow. They mentioned Captain Venom. That's a much bigger one. Um, and I like where they're going with that. They actually raise the maximum number of theme team props. Like, that's now going to be a mechanic. Or, mm -hmm. like, a, a thing they regularly do now. Right. So, I like that. Um, now, I know she had it anyway. She had the boosting up. But now it's more relevant. More people are going to have it. Um, but the uh, the one last thing I like is they actually give a, a, an email. Um to say email us at this website if let us know which teams you're more excited to try out that you would would have before these changes um and you can give feedback so I, I like that they finally have like an outlet to say oh yeah i want to um you know send a letter or an email or something so please right, give robin yeah, reed so an right activation now, like... uh, let's see Robbie, read <laughs> Arata, please. 
There you go. Um, I'm typing it up now, so if we want to keep talking, that's fine. Um, what do you so, guys think? Do you guys like the no chain, the no difference between themes um, and name theme? Uh, so, how about yes and no? Okay. Okay. How about maybe? So, yeah. So, well, there's two definitive reasons, right? And so the the difference for me is, and the reason I'm okay with it was, you know, a lot of times there's been several instances to me in the past where I'm like, is that a generic one or a named one? When I'm looking at something, and you know, if I'm just looking at the card in like a sealed event or something, um, and, and, and the things that I'm not familiar with, right? Obviously, Avengers and Legion of Doom and Soldier and Cosmic and all that other stuff. But like, if those like off keywords like Atlantis or Amazon or something, you know, I'm like, is that named or is that generic? This simplifies it, right? Which then again simplifies it for new players. Um, but I think I saw someone mention that like specifically like well the avengers shouldn't get the same thing as a generic animal theme team right um and so i certainly get that right um now what maybe puts me over the edge and maybe even for you tyler is we play generics all the mm-hmm. time and so yep. i think for uh, i think for me and you personally while understanding that that gives us a big boost for the generics teams that we like to play and then with the boost to being able to explain it to a new player, that also is a big boost for me. Um, but I certainly sympathize with the Avengers, <laughs> Avenger lovers out there. Yeah, it seems weird from a design point for for the reason you mentioned. If it's a name theme team, it seems like there should, if there's a distinction, there should be um, a, a greater bonus to one. Obviously, um, I don't know if they're even going to continue having a distinction at this point. It seems like they should just have theme like in, not named or unnamed um if they're gonna do this um it seems like there should have been a way for them to give it something whether it was you know maybe more probs or um i don't even know just something it seems like there should be an easy like small thing that they can give it to just differentiate the two um so i'm not a huge fan of that um just as a of like on the design of it it feels weird to me um so yeah. yeah, that that just feels a little weird. I'm not a huge huge I, overall. Obviously, the changes are good. Um, <clears throat> that just is something that kind of stuck out to me as a little annoying. Um, I've sent my email, so <laughs> yeah. But I yeah, it's definitely bumped on theme or generic theme teams. I I'm actually <laughs> with all these changes, I'm really liking my um that cosmic team that I built more with the dark phoenixes. I, I like that team a lot. And they're getting a lot of cosmic in this fantastic war set. So I'm, I'm keeping an eye out. Uh, right. Peter, Peter Melton asks Spider-Man chases. How are they affected by this? Are they a big deal or not by this change? Um, it's a, it's a slight negative to them just in the fact that everybody else, it, it makes other things better. It doesn't really make them worse, but it makes them less unique um, because their whole thing was turning generic keywords into um, name theme teams. Like right. um, they they had other implications too, where they could make it you theme like a ruler and an animal or something like. Probably not, I don't even think they have an animal ruler and pirate, whatever. If you want to do that, so they ha- they can do other stuff. Um, it's just that one thing that they did that is was unique is now kind of irrelevant. Yeah. Um, but they're still really good. Um, it just sort of made them less. Well, I, I think what they can do. I think I think making them a name theme team wasn't. The, I think it's the second <laughs> part of that, right? That was always the strongest for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was, for sure. Was, it, yeah, so I mean, I get that it made it a name versus a generic, but like I wasn't including seventeen seventy six because I wanted to play uh, two by two Magneto and Punisher War Machine together. You know what I mean? Like, I may be saying that incorrectly. But I, I I couldn't play Punisher War Machine and Two by Two Magneto together without seventy six and without Spider Pharaoh, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Which are so I think you have to realize that those Spider chases are still freaking badass, dude. Yeah, yeah. we're still gonna uh, see them all the time for, for like four or six of them, right? 
yeah. or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's still it's still super badass, right? Seventy six is still good. Pharaohs <coughs> has has grown on me. Penny has grown on me, even with the perplex changes. Uh, well, she's Pharaoh still... actually got a decent buff, right? Because of the the perplex changes, he can he can buff both damage types still. Yeah, because he's got empower and enhancement. Right, so mm -hmm. you know it's he can buff damage, which is a you know scarcer now. So it was a, it was a, it was a direct buff to him. Or he, uh, buff, Peter yeah. wants to know what was your cosmic team, Tyler. Um, it was uh, Captain Marvel, Super Rare in '95. Um, a Franklin Richards who benefited from the the willpower buff because he gives everybody cut power cosmic. He has Fantastic Four figures power cosmic. Um, and then. Uh, Brainiac, and then four Dark Phoenixes at 30. <laughs> it was hmm. a whole and lot then, of and then, and then like a Venom symbiote and the <coughs> map bonus, right? Yeah, Venom symbiote and the map bonus. So the map bonus portion of it is, is hurt a little bit. I didn't think that was necessary. Obviously, Dark Phoenix got a buff. Um, the, 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 my Phoenixes can prob now from 10 away. That's pretty great. Um, the, the buff to um, Power Cosmic for... Uh, What's his name? Franklin Richards, and then obviously we're getting the uh, the new a lot of new cosmic pieces with Fantastic Four. So I like that team a lot. That's that's interesting. Like they did, they're changing Perplex. So now having a cheap Perplex is still good, but it's not a must. Mm -hmm. And now that they're making these changes, having a cheap prop isn't necessarily a must. It's still great. But it's not necessarily a must anymore, because <coughs> you have access to at least three a game. Sure, it'd be better if you had more, but if you could save 20 to 25 points into making maybe your third figure oh. into a 50 point, that might be worth it. Or say right. bumping, or like even in like the Captain Marvel example, right? you might be able to save up enough to take her from 95 to 150. Yeah. Not not that uh. that's con not that that's common. But, you know, maybe it's a consideration now. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I, I just realized I get big charge flurry close combat expert with Franklin Richards now, too. He's swinging 12 for 5. So that's, yep. uh, that's pick a power. thing. I, pick a power just got better. I can pick enhancement for all of my um, Dark Phoenixes if I need to instead of the relying on Perplex. Oh, then when Phoenix heals, dude. She gets RCE on those first couple clicks. Oh, she does. You're right. Boom. Bam. Boom, bang, bang. Boom, bang. <laughs> yep. And she got triple target, so she can make use of that in the, if she wants to do that, too. Pretty good. Not Pretty bad. Good. Dang. Yeah, that team got a, lot, got a lot better. And, yeah, that team was really good. I, get, I went to top 16. I only lost to the hard counter, which is why I know that Batman team so well. <laughs> yeah. Um, all in all, these have been good changes. Um, oh I my think gosh. I... That means that Phoenix is 12 for 4 when she heals 1. Well, she was. Oh, I mean, she always could have been, right? right. No, but that's just a, when she regularly shoots. Like, she can triple target 12 for 4. Right. 12 for 4, yeah. Because so... RCE was just a single target before. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, mm -hmm. she was obliterating being one figure, but now she's 12 <laughs> 4 on multiples. Oh my gosh. Now, Spencer White suggests Power Gem instead of Brainiac for Captain Marvel, since it combos with Hypersonic. Yeah, I thought about that. Um, so that was one of the one thing that I would change. He, he was useful sometimes for his outwit, and obviously later in the game, but it was hard to bring him into the thing. So I thought maybe dropping him um, for yeah Power Cosmic, or Power Gem, um, or maybe something else. I'm not sure. I hadn't thought about it. but um, Yeah, he's not, he's not as necessary, because I, I don't need the plus seven as much. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to talk about chases that might go down in value, it might be some of the trouble alerts because Brainiac. I mean, they're still good. They're still good. Yeah. Still good as trouble alerts, but like they were also theme fluff in some teams. I felt like like when we were building teams before, it's like oh, I'm going to stick two or three Brainiacs. They're still good, but it's like well, theme fluff isn't as necessary per se. So. I agree that they're worse if you were using them for theme fluff, but I, I don't think that there were good teams that used them that way. True, I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 I agree. But yeah, they they could fall in value. Um, 
He's already fallen in value, right? How, what is he going for nowadays? 75, 75-ish from down Dang. from about, uh, down from about 110. Hey Tyler, you only got like <laughs> another year of legality, and you can finally afford them and get them. Like you'll finally <laughs> finally get your own Brainiac. True, true. Oh, a month before retirement, <laughs> he's <laughs> fifty bucks. All right, finally. Yeah. Um, um I'm trying to think. Chases that might go down in value. I mean, you know, I think, I think the spider chases. Here's the thing. Spider Ham just recently sold for ninety five, so I, I think the Spider Chases don't take any hit in value. I think if any of them do, it would be Penny, but it would only be a little bit. She's still no, I don't. Like I think I think Penny continues to go up. Um, yep. I, I think the maybe like Miles and Gwen of Arc, Spider um, Viking, <laughs> Spider Viking continue to take hits down. Yeah, but I, I I see. Uh, Pharaoh uh, 76 has already taken his hit uh -huh. um, yeah. and then and then Ham just maintain their good value that they already have Ooh. Ham has the past keyword keyword that's true yeah. oh man all the apocalypse I forgot the apocalypse do man my Robbie Reed past team <laughs> has just gotten so oh, much better God. I could play Mother, not that she helps with pass, she only helps with, like, X-Men keyword. Um, yeah. But Moira X, Apocalypse, Prime Apocalypse, Chase Apocalypse. Um, uh, this is great. I was gonna say, oh, yeah. I was going to say, this change is kind of a, a buff to Pulse Wave, um, because yeah, if you're on a theme, you can Pulse Wave yourself, or you can prob yourself during Pulse Waves now, um, which is something that was pretty hard to do normally. So that, that's, a, that's a pretty huge buff. Um, right. It was it was always annoying to get a line on pulse wave for stuff. I agree. Uh -huh. I agree with that one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking. I'm just looking through the chase sets, um, and you know, I don't, I don't see anything that's taken a real big hit here, right? <laughs> you know, everyone was mentioning Reed Richards, fixer of the universes with Leap Climb. I mean, he basically stayed about the same. I just don't care about that piece. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. I'm with you there. I, we're just specifically thinking chase sets here. Uh, I mean, JOU, we talked about. Black Widow's already taken her hit. I mean, they gutted her. Um, you know, um, I think the Captain Mar Captain, not Captain Marvel, Captain America chases. Um, well, know, the like, Ultron got hosed a little bit. <laughs> Ult <laughs> Ultron got hosed. But... You know, there's. They are beefy, right? Yeah. They yeah, are for sure. beefy. They're even beefier with a power gem. Yeah. Again, if we ever get to play them together that way. Uh, I mean, Ultron being 15 5 with this as an equip. Um, you know, I know there might be like Soul Gem or whatever's better on him. Uh, but like Chase Thor at 125 being 13 6 with Psy Blast. It's not bad. Yeah, that guy's that, real hard to take out. I mean, he's yeah, he's got Invincible up top. He's got ESD. He's got the Poison. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I think those could see a little bit more of an uptick. Um, I mean, that Chase Ghost Rider for 70 is 11 for 4 with Exploit. Um, you know, uh, big buffs there with the power. I mean, I, I, I mean... Ugh. I don't know, WWE, I don't know if it's on a chase set, but, like, I mean, a lot of those had some pretty good stats. Yeah, um, for sure. And we're about to get some more. That's yeah, theoretically. I mean, uh, theoretically, yeah, if we ever get them. Uh, I, I mean, I think XDPS stays about the same. I mean, I don't really see any buffs here to Donald, Harry, Emma, Sebastian. Do you think um, this buffs um, like lower theme teams, like a theme team of plus four or five? I feel like it does, right? Because you still get the same, you get the same value if you're facing it unthemed as you know the, the big ones. Well, that's what I was... I'm talking about. Is the that's what I was talking about the three to five versus mm -hmm. the eight to twelve. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah your, your, I... like your juggernaut type team. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, um, that's my juggernaut buff. team is only a plus four, I think, right now. Um, so it's a it's a buff to that for sure. Um. And Juggernaut being able to prob himself is such a big deal. Um, you do not want to miss those opening attacks, and it's hard to get a prob on them. 
Yeah, it just feels better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, good. It does. You know, one thing yeah, I, did, I hadn't really considered about this change to perplex <laughs> is mm-hmm. I keep forgetting you can no longer perplex down your opponent's damage. Yep, that was a big change too. Up I, to one minute. I don't know if we mentioned that. Like, I don't think we did, but, but no, I thought about really. it. <laughs> Yeah, because there are scenarios. I, I thought about it because we looked at Reed Richards, and his thing is, well, if you use outwit or perplex a target opposing, then you don't take damage or something. Um, at the end of your turn, heal him if he targeted one plus opposing character without <coughs> or perplex. And that's what made me think, oh yeah, I forget that you can't be like, oh, I've got invincible. I'll perplex you down to two damage. Ha ha. It's like yeah. The, the I think ha- having high damage on dial is going to be more important now. Um, so it, it is another slight buff to Juggernaut because he already has five. Um, you know, because five is the magic number a lot of times, or four to get somebody to a stop click, and that's a lot harder to do now, especially on awful strikes. So, yeah, I agree. Right, right, right. right. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty much um, all, all we got for yeah, those changes. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? We can just shoot the breeze. No, for a I'm just, bit. I think I'm good for tonight. Like, I was just looking through all of the chases, and I'm like, well, ABPI and back is likely to go, and I'm like, you know, I don't really see anything that gets a huge, huge decrease in value or even a huge increase in value <coughs> necessarily. Um, you know what, though? All right, I'll, I'll leave it. Uh, you know me. I don't like speculation, but I do like speculation. They errated Captain Venom from Earth X. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're saying because he's not he rotating? Mm, oh, that. that's I'm true. That's a good that. point. I want to be clear. I'm not saying that. I'm speculating that. He's he's not even speculating. He, all he did was state a fact. If you take that as you will. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> Brad, yes, that is true. A one man per, uh, question about one man perplexed. Does that mean one, a non themed team each has a potential? one theme team prob what so babe no if it, if it's a non-theme team you don't get the prob what we're saying if it's just one person I, you said yeah. perplex that may have you may be one man band or something i don't know if it's just one person a one-man army by himself like a 300 point figure then he'll have the one prop because he's technically a theme team by himself but right. if it's a non-theme you don't get the one it's you have to be a theme team of sorts it's just one person now counts as a one person theme team because which is what a lot of new people thought assumed it's like, yeah. yeah it's like hey uh, this is a past theme team this yeah. is fantastic four sure but is it a team this is this is eternal yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> this is an eternal you can pick <laughs> and it doesn't have to be eternal you could do past you could do uh, well, Union only yeah. has Eternal and Cosmic, so. Oh, I thought he had Pass. What? Okay, no. whatever. No, I don't know who you're thinking of. <laughs> you're thinking of Nick Fury. <laughs> I mean, he does. He does indeed have Pass. <laughs> do you think he's good if he's come? If he right now Nick Fury's out, do you think he's good? Oh man, I don't know. I think <laughs> I think everybody hoping that they make all these awesome figures again in Legacy is gonna not have a good day because they're not gonna they're not gonna bring those crazy figures back they might bring good figures back from the stone age but they're not bringing back hey balls of fury things make thing is making waves the only thing so thing is making waves but all right so uh we can have it as five minutes i want we can be done 650 all right right. they morgan lefay won worlds so she was a good piece in her day. <laughs> That's true. Okay. All right. So maybe. Which one was I, that? The Chaos Wars one is coming back. That that was the Chaos Wars one, and that was the uh, Avalia. I think it was Alex Avalia's team. I think. Yeah, it was. Because um, it was the Wasp with the Defend and uh, you know a bunch of probs, right? This was a little higher defense with a bunch of probs. Um, I think there was an Infinity Gauntlet on there too, maybe. Um, so they did. Hey, Morgan Le Fay was a very good piece in her day. So obviously, won Worlds, right? I mean, Wales went up to fifty dollars after you won Worlds <laughs> with them, right? So um, maybe, 
I don't know. Maybe I, I would. But so I guess back to your question, Alex. Would I play Nick Fury main force? Because that's the only choice if I had him modern today. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, him with seventy six and a Spider Pharaoh and a Magneto or something might be all right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering how you break him. Like, what are you equipping him with? Uh, power gym. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, I don't know. Power gym seems fine. Uh, Twelve for five. I mean, he's already well, got I mean, shape change, so you can give him uh, running shot now, right? Uh, if you want like that, the, the goblin glider. You think goblin glider or EXO? You can pick hypersonic speed. Um, if you want it. Surfer mm -hmm. board is who, who cosmic. Are we about? Oh, Fury, yeah. Fury. Surfer Fury. board would be good. His shield. Oh, I for, I didn't think about that. Shield got a buff too, because it can still buff damage. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, maybe he just gets played on a shield team, or you know, I don't know. Yeah. There's no uh, J there's no Jason of Sparta, so I can't play two of them. So. Yeah, I'm still mixed feelings about the i'm becoming more mixed feelings about the legacy just because i'm now realizing it's cool but man availability is just not there <laughs> so no, for I mean, those it, of it us is, that are new or to the game right <laughs> like all the stuff has sold out on ebay right all of the figures i'm not even worried about that i'm worried about like, the actual cards the legacy cards they're one per brick like, but there's only be... eight of them so. There is, but <laughs> you opening eight bricks to get all those? Yeah, maybe. Okay, sure. I know you are. I'm not asking you, Dan. Um. <laughs> I mean, they're just like that's. I mean, that's probably the number is about the same as the team of cards. If you go by how many you got no. per brick by how many team of cards there were, like it was what two a brick, maybe one a brick, and there yeah, were like that's... forty of them. So. The ratio is probably better with the legacy cards because that's a guarantee, and there's only eight, as opposed to the thirty some odd for the team. Well, it was, was a hundred and twenty in JLU, right? Yeah. Well, so really? Yeah, there was oh a lot, God. and they they that's came out and said, "Yeah, we went overboard. We're going to cut them back and yeah. do less." But I, I think, I mean, I think the legacy cards will be fairly available. You might straw like the thing and the the. Human Torch and Meg, maybe Morgan will be a little bit well, more expensive, but and the Invisible Woman, right? So yeah, Invisible the, Woman. The three, the, the, the three with the Fantastic Four keyword because it formed the Fantastic Four, and then Morgan. We haven't actually seen Morgan's card, right? That's true, and we don't know She Hulk. She Hulk is another potential, especially after this theme team nonsense, because old She Hulk actually allowed you if you lost if you were playing a non-theme team wait is it that one yeah it's the aou she hulk that's the only oh. aou she hulk there is um she's the one that if she hulk isn't part of a theme team the first time this game you wouldn't win the roll for first player you may roll again and add plus one to the result <coughs> now they could change that they have been changing up the wordings on some of these um but she's 75 points at her lower dial She's got willpower. I mean, she's not bad. Charge flurry. She's got fantastic four. That's why she's added in there because she's fantastic. This was, this was the one I remember came out when there was no fantastic four figures, and they're like, why did they give her the fantastic four keyword? That's a little, a little weird. Right. So, so we're saying five of the eight have potential. Yeah, we just have to nothing see the is, cards for the rest of them. Yeah, nothing. No, they're not overtly powerful right they're not obviously powerful <laughs> but they but they have potential yeah and the reason i bring that up is and I, some people who are watching the stream maybe have seen me play around with uh, graviton i think it would actually be kind of interesting if they did play some of the stronger non-carded figures and made them modern by giving them a card that's their biggest weakness, right? Is that so their stats, sure, are lower, but if you get a higher stat one and then give them a card, well, then they generally probably could be modern. I want to see, I, I wanna see I, I wanna see a legacy card for shield snipers and shield medics that just got 15 of those in today. 
Justin. And yes, Paul, that is correct. That is another thing I was thinking of as well. You could, if she works the way that she does, you could She Hulk her in and then use the form the Fantastic Four to get her out. Ooh. Because a lot of potential there. Because it's the beginning yeah. of the game, you switch them out, and her thing yeah. is for the dice roll. So. Yeah, so, but we were talking about you would have to, if, if it's worded as is, you would have to. <laughs> play her on a non-team team with another fan form the fantastic four yeah so you would have to break uh, theme. you would have to break theme for it but that's okay because yeah theme team isn't that big of a deal anymore so i mean you could play a, a small piece if you want to make sure you have a better chance for winning map i hope they bring her in because she she i played her with arcade for a little while because you really wanted to win map with arcade and arcade didn't really go well with a lot of pieces like he was good but um so it was better to play a non-themed and then play her so that way you could 50 50 yeah it was like, well, okay well tyler well just just uh, and i think we can maybe end it on this story if that's okay tyler do you realize the significance to aou she hulk to mine and yours relationship uh oh i do actually it was uh it got second in the cincinnati tournament that we um the, the first time we ever played yep yep you're playing that dumb kingpin zombie yeah, yeah. oh zombie. no i was so excited dude i was still that's still <laughs> such a such a great memory right i yeah. mean who knew that me playing you at that time you know and that was 20 <laughs> 14 that 20 no it wasn't 14 because i wasn't traveling then it was 2015 i want to say i am almost but, positive it's 2014 I, I didn't play i didn't start playing until the middle of 14 so okay. um so it was either 15 or no it had to have been uh 16 because it was uh what one was the clarions and they were in world <laughs> finals oh yeah. that's your clarions did win you're right yeah it was 16 yeah, so it, it was very early 16, but who would have thought, right, uh, us meeting there? Because you were playing all the pickup powers, right? You were playing Super Scroll and Engineer and all kinds copycat. of stuff. What a, what a <laughs> new. Engineer. I was playing Super Scroll, Engineer, Copycat, because that's what someone told me to play. <laughs> Man, I wish they gave Arcade a legacy card. That'd be sweet. I would love Arcade right. to come back. Well, that's what... that's what And, and Alex, it's even <coughs> a... Uh, it's even a uh, prelude to our relationship for all three of us because it was Zach Grizzle that got second. Yep. Um, in the, in that event. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, the Grizz. So very very fond memories of AOU She Hulk uh, for all of us here, even though we've never really actually played her competitively yet. So, do y'all have anything else to add for tonight? I do not. I, I hope we get. Right I hope we get another rules article tomorrow. These are fun. I, do, I, do, I mean, I we need we need breakaway and hindering still, so we probably probably have two more. They didn't mention at the end of it though what the next day was going to be, right. right? No. Yeah. Yeah. All they said is <laughs> until next time, Mastermind. <gasps> They're changing Mastermind. No, I'm just playing. They said until yeah. next oh, time, that, Mastermind. I mean, keep been, on clicks in. That's been obvious, right? He's been he's been he called us Masterminds every day. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But uh, he's alluding to something. That's right. Well, for what it's worth. Another rules article. We plan on being back with y'all. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's night. Yeah, see ya. See ya.